Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be talking about this film, which is The Treasure of the Sierra Madre. And The Treasure of the Sierra Madre, it was directed by John Huston and it stars Humphrey Bogart. And this film is set in the 1920s in Mexico. And it's a really good old school action adventure film. I really enjoyed it. We've got Humphrey Bogart plays a character called Fred C. Dobbs. And at the start and at the start of the film, he meets up with this other guy um, called Bob Curtin. He's played by Tim Holt. And they're both looking for work in this small town in Mexico. And they come across this old guy played by Walter Houston. His name's Howard. And Howard, well, he's quite an old guy, so he's 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 got a lot of experience of life and um he talks about gold and he talks about how he's he's been out before and got lots of gold and come back and end up wasting all the money and not having any left so humphrey bogart's character he says oh well that wouldn't happen to him if he found gold he'd be absolutely fine and he'd save it so the three men they go out into the desert in mexico and go out in search of gold now, one thing that's interesting about this film is it it was actually the first Hollywood film to be filmed entirely on location outside of the United States. So lots of this film was actually filmed on location in Mexico. There were a few scenes which were filmed um, in a studio, which were the scenes at night time. But really, the majority of this film is actually filmed on location in Mexico, which really adds to the realness of it. It really seems like it's a film which is in the wilderness, outside of civilization. All the characters, the three characters, these three men, they really almost become part of the wilderness in this film. So they start to turn against each other a little bit when they find the gold and they start to try to make a decision about how the gold is going to be split up. And they all become very paranoid. Well, I say they all become very paranoid, really. The older guy, Howard, played by Walter Houston, he really is a bit more laid back about the whole situation. He isn't really so bothered about the gold. He's really just there for the thrill of adventure. But Humphrey Bogart's character, Fred C. Dobbs, he starts to go absolutely crazy over the gold. We really see his character change. And it's interesting seeing Humphrey Bogart in, in a role like this, because Humphrey Bogart, I've seen him in a few other films like Casablanca, a Maltese Falcon and he normally plays a likeable suave cool kind of guy but in this film he is not like that at all he's he's got a very dark side to him he seems to get angry quite easily and he's always intimidated by the people and almost always seems to be picking a fight my favorite character in this film is actually Howard who's played by Walter Houston now as I said earlier the director of this film is John Houston and Walter Houston is actually John Houston's father. And Walter Houston actually did win an Oscar for Best Supporting Actor for this film. And I can certainly see why, because he plays the character so well. You, you can tell he's a character who's, who's seen life, he's, he's been through everything, and he's not really that worried about the gold. He just wants to go out for there for the, for the adventure. And he has some really funny lines in this film. He has quite a few moments where he is speaking quite a long time and he's speaking very quickly not really giving anyone else a time to speak what is great about his character is although he's very old he seems very tough he seems tougher than the other two younger guys in this film because near the start we see them all going out into the mountains and howard is absolutely fine he can um he can walk for absolutely ages no problem up the hill but the other two guys they're still struggling <laughs> even though they're younger, which is quite interesting. And Howard as a character, he really knows all there is to see about surviving and about finding the gold. And the other two guys almost look to him as a leader. I must also say, I think the actor Alfonso Bedoya is absolutely terrific as the Mexican bandit. He's not necessarily the main villain in this film, but every time he appears, um, it's always fantastic. He crops up a few times in this film and he always manages to cause trouble in some way, causes disruption for the three main guys in this film with their search for the gold. And he has terrific presence on screen, Alfonso. And he's appeared in a few other Hollywood films, but I think like this is the one where, where he's best. And yeah, he betrays his character very well. And he has some very f funny lines um, 
especially in his scenes with Humphrey Bogart later on. So Treasure of the Sierra Madre, I think it is a fantastic film. I think most people should be able to enjoy it. It does start off a little bit slow, to be honest, but it's a fantastic adventure film. Quite an old-fashioned film, I suppose. I do like the fact that it's shot in black and white. It really adds to the darker elements of the film a bit later on, especially with Humphrey Bogart's character, Fred C. Dobbs, and I think that works very well. And I was quite surprised that Humphrey Bogart didn't actually win an Oscar for this film because I think it's probably Humphrey Bogart's best performance or best performance that I've seen him in anyway. I've seen him in in a few other films and, well, he plays a very different character than we're used to seeing. He's not cool, suave and sophisticated. He's very dark and angry. And, yeah, Bogart really showed that he's a very good actor in this film and that he can play a darker, more evil character as well as just the good guy. So, all in all, Treasure of the Madre, a fantastic film. Definitely check it out. So I'm going to give it a rating of 9 out of 10 because I think it's a fantastic film. Definitely worth a watch if you want an adventure slash western film from the 1940s. This is probably one of the best type of those films that you can go for. Definitely one of the best ones of that genre. So, yeah, please check it out if you get a time. Fantastic film. So there we go. So that is The Treasure of the Sierra Madre. So what do you guys think? Have you guys seen it? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Please let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are on that. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.